The Olympic men's basketball semifinals, the medal round, kicks off this Thursday on August the 8th, and the first game goes at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Thursday. Germany, France, a rematch from the preliminary round. I'm going to let you know how to play this game and make some money. Free play coming up for you and complete analysis in just a minute. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV. And I'm breaking down the first of the two semifinal games. Be sure to check out my Serbia Team USA video breakdown as well here on Wager Talk TV. Yet another reason, click subscribe and click the bell for instant alerts when these free play videos go up. I'll also be back for this Saturday's bronze and gold medal games, free plays and those as well for you. These teams met last Friday on August 2nd, and Germany closed as about a four and a half point favorite, and they won fairly easily by 14 points, 85 to 71. Uh, the total closed around 160. It landed 156. Now in the rematch, the odds makers have bumped it up a little bit higher to Germany, five and a half. Total has been bumped down to 156 and a half, 157, which is right around where the last game closed. Look, on the surface, Germany is the better team, and they showed that last week on last Friday. But I said when the Olympics started, France, who is still now 3-1, and one, that's their only loss, was that Germany game. I said all along that they were a dangerous underdog in this tournament, having home court. And keep in mind, these games are now in Paris, much bigger arena, and we saw the crowd make a difference as France upset Canada as an eight-point dog. Canada, I thought was the second best overall team, along with maybe Germany. France just beat Canada, so they're definitely capable of pulling the home court upset again against Germany. Let's lig- dig into the box score, though. We'll see the Germans had a huge second quarter, 24-9 edge in the second quarter last Friday, and they were up 52-27 to at, I'm sorry, 48-27, to up by 21 points at halftime. So they really cruised after that. Um, Gobert only played 18 minutes. He only took two field goal attempts. Um, Victor Wimbayamba was only 5 for 11, 14 points, 3 for 7 from 3. I do like Wimbayamba to have a big game here. His over 16.5 would be the only way I'd play his player prop. And as far as Germany's big two, Wagner and Schroeder had a huge game as they've been doing every game. They had 26 each, 52 of their 85 points, 33 minutes each last Friday. Uh, they put up over 50 combined in their uh, elimination round win last the other night on Tuesday. Uh, so they're going to have to carry this team. Um, their price very hefty. Uh, Wagner's about 20 and a half. Dennis Schroeder's about 19 and a half total points. You play them both over. I think at worst you go one and one. You could go two and zero. Oh. I'd be surprised if one, if not both, go over. So once again, at worst you probably split out playing the over. Never look to play superstars under in big games, and those are the three superstars on the court for each team. As far as the side, though, the line is five and a half. And although I think Germany is the better team, the home court angle does concern me. I think the safer play is actually the under in this game, and I know it's a bit lower. Than the game last week, 160. It's now down to 157. But the last game landed 156, and both teams shot pretty well from three point range. In fact, Germany was 46%, France almost 38%. Two teams shot 46 and 48% from the field, and they shot 94% and 67% from the free throw line, a combined 27 for 34. Um, and it still landed 156. And now that this is a true elimination game, playoff atmosphere, whoever wins this game, um, is going to the gold medal game guaranteed either a silver or a gold medal. I think we will see more defensive intensity as we often do in the NBA playoffs. I like under 157 in this game, game one of the semifinals on Thursday between Germany and France. Hey, if you found this video useful, give it a quick thumbs up, like, and be sure to check out my USA Serbia preview here on the channel as well. Click subscribe and hit the bell for instant alerts. And don't forget to comment below. I read all the comments and I reply back. What are your thoughts on this game? Who are you playing? Sides, totals, player props. Let's learn and earn and win together here on Wager Talk TV. Reply, comment below. I read all the comments and I reply back. Hey, don't forget, if you'd like to get the rest of August for free, you can do so right now at wagertalk.com when you buy my September-October combo. It's buy two months, get three for free. The rest of August for free. That's every baseball best bet every day and night through the World Series in October. Also, the first half of the college football season, first third of the NFL season, the entire preseason, even the NBA when it starts in October. You're buying September and October, and you're getting the rest of August for free. Every best bet, every day, every sport for the next three months. No promo code needed. Save up to almost $300 instantly right now on my page. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. And while you're there, check out the daily free plays also. I post a free play every day on my page as well. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Game one, France, Germany, 1130 a.m. Eastern Thursday. And then stay tuned right here on Wager Talk TV for the second game, Serbia, USA, preview coming up next.